Terrific. You want to roll into numero seis? Yeah, let's do it, man. So, uh, yeah. Price fixing. Price, price fixing, right? This is a new like, one. Don't do it. Don't <laughs> do it. <laughs> you know, it turns out that uh, Amazon is on to this. You know, what's, what's ironic here, Nick, is that if we were in the same category and we're beating each other up, left and right because amazon really does pit one seller against another hey rolando's selling it for a dollar cheaper on the listing you're not in the buy box anymore go back and do something about it right the yeah. do something is to go below right you want to get in the buy box so yeah. what happened to a few sellers recently was that they decided hey let's not beat each other up let's make money sounds good Problem is, on the other side of the equation, the law and the authorities call that price fix. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to give this one uh -oh. a uh -oh. big fat uh-oh, because it's one thing to be in Amazon trouble. It's a whole nother to be in trouble with the FTC yes. when it comes yeah. to price fixing, because uh, all kinds of really bad things can happen at that point. And I noticed this happening more when, remember when it was maybe a year or two ago, Amazon rolled out. Uh, you've got to have your business address like yes. uh, up to date and they put it on the the accounts right you can yep. see everyone's official registered address and uh as soon as that happened man i would start getting emails i got text messages from other sellers on our listings really asking me to change my price man what it's crazy i'm pretty sure they were like international like overseas so they probably honestly don't care no um but yeah crazy wow that's crazy. interesting i haven't had that happen to us yet but yeah i do have other sellers contacting us for different reasons but that's a a first yeah it's crazy and no it's it's a you know if i were to just you know air out some grievance just kind of the whole buy box thing is really a mess because as a seller I've had for us happen where we put a listing on Amazon. We have, you know, we sell on Walmart, we sell our own website and Amazon really encourages you to lower or maintain your price lower than other websites. Otherwise the buy box won't show, but you know yeah. what, Nick, we sell products on Amazon at a higher price point compared to our competitors that are on Amazon and we still do well. And you would think otherwise. So what Amazon's argument has always been, we want to protect consumers because we want the lowest price. That's great. But you know what consumers also want? Convenience. Yeah. And some of them say, price be damned. I need this tomorrow because it's at FBA and it's in my own city and they'll deliver it today even, right? So I will pay the extra dollar or two or whatever it is that because I want to be profitable at the end of the day, I want to make money. So I have a higher price than other where at everywhere else. No, that's just the way I roll, but I shouldn't be punished and the buy box suppressed because my price is higher than anywhere else or higher than my competitor. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's a tough one. You know, it's, it's, it definitely sucks. I hate seeing the buy box get suppressed because of, uh, you know, it's on Walmart for a lower price. But honestly, you know what I think the best thing to do is? I talked to a couple guys at Amazon Innovate. A uh, okay. guy from Simple Modern, um, Alan Stevens from Koss, and they just have different product strategies per channel. So really? they don't roll out the same product with the same UPC code and the same oh. size on Walmart and Amazon. They're doing a different size, same product, different size, different UPC code, avoid the problem wow. altogether. I'm always a fan of just seeing where, like, how can I just eliminate this as an issue for me? Um, and I really liked the, the strategies that, that they gave there. Well, Obviously, if you're a reseller, a little different, you don't have control over what other, you know, brands and sellers are doing on other platforms. It makes it, makes it more, you got to jump through more hoops. So you'd have to almost do something different for Amazon in that, if you're bundling something, for example, if you're reselling, maybe you bundle something that's got one thing for Amazon and you bundle it a different way for Walmart so that different price um, or not bundling at all on Walmart. Right. I don't know about you, but 
Walmart's still not getting there in terms of what we're seeing from a from a channel perspective. I just kind of know it's a tangent, but I'm not seeing the the growth on Amazon and the volume like I'm seeing on um on TikTok. <laughs> oh, slipped in there like on TikTok because we're yep. we're experimenting there too on yeah, on TikTok's, Amazon. TikTok's coming for Amazon. Man. <laughs> they, <laughs> they are <laughs> with all that money they have. That they've by the way they've surprised people. They have a lot of money. Their 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 yeah. ad sales are going through the roof, so they've got a big big treasure chest full of money, and they're gonna deploy it to to try to upset the Apple part. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 